so in today's video i'm going to show you how i make my asmr videos that get millions of views and spoiler alert it's really not that hard to do all you need is your phone and a tripod but before we get into it i just want to say hello and welcome to my channel and if anyone's new here my name is lucy so first thing you want to do is get your phones i film on this phone which is the iphone 14 pro i also sometimes film on this phone which is the iphone 13 pro max so it doesn't necessarily matter what phone you have you just want to have good sound quality um, and i feel like most of the iphones have good sound quality anyway so what you want to do get your phone put it on a tripod and put it as close as possible to what it is you're filming just so it can pick up the sound it doesn't have to be like super close but just close enough to pick up the sound and then you just want to film whatever you do so if you're doing an unboxing i'm going to show you here this is me making cheesy garlic bread from last week's youtube video so i'll pop that there if anyone does actually want to watch it so yeah this is me just filming you just want to film as normal ideally if there's parts of the video where like you're putting something on the table and you know it's going to make a good sound try and put it on the table a little bit harder so you get the sound because the focus of these videos is the sound so yeah if you're putting like a bottle on the table try and like not slam it too much but try and like put the bottle down with force so you get a good sound but i do feel like the sounds just naturally happen so don't worry too much about if the sound was loud enough um i feel like the camera will pick up the sounds anyway so yeah just film as normal what you're doing the filming part is super easy you literally just film as normal what you're doing and just make sure that the camera is close enough to get the sound and then the main part is in the editing and i'd probably say this is the hardest but it's not even the hardest part i just think it requires a lot of focus so sometimes when i'm editing these videos they can take a while to actually edit so i personally edit in the CapCut app but i feel like you could kind of use any editing platform to edit these on um, I just personally use CapCut. So you want to open up the app and just add any videos that you got. So once you've got all your videos in the app, you just want to go to the parts where something's moving. As I've been doing this so long, sometimes I won't even listen to where the sound is. I'll just know what's going to make a sound. So for example, here where I've added the kitchen roll, it's probably made a sound because I've just added the kitchen roll. So I will crop to that point. And the thing with these videos, which I think was a game changer for me when I realised, is it's the sound that makes the video on these not the visuals because sometimes i would keep a clip in because something was happening in the clip but there was no actual sound like you only need the smallest snippets of the sound and then when you edit it all through the sound makes the story rather than the visuals so i will literally chop so much of the video out just because i only want the sound so also as well, you don't want to make it too boring for the viewer. Like all this of me peeling the garlic isn't very exciting. The main part of the video is the cheesy garlic bread. So I'm just going to crop where I like place things down. So like here where I'm placing the garlic down. I could add the whole thing of me putting the garlic onto the chopping board. But really, I only actually need the sound of it. I don't need the bit where my hand's moving because the sound will tell the story, if that makes sense. I hope it does because I feel like that was such a game changer for me when I was side editing them. So as you can see, I've just cropped here every millisecond that I added something to the chopping board. So this is it so far. Can you hear the sound? And with it being ASMR as well, so there's a clip here where my hands are covering the camera. And if I was filming a, a normal video and it wasn't ASMR, I would crop that bit where my hands were in front of the camera because you can't see what I'm doing. But because it's the sound that's telling the story, things like that aren't too bad in an ASMR video. Obviously, it's ideal to not have your hands in front of the camera, but it's the sound that they'll hear, not your hand. Sometimes if you do feel like you want to keep the whole of the video in, I would just speed it up. So for example, with that oil there, I wanted to kind of keep it in, but I've just sped it up because there's not a lot happening in the clip. I feel like the shallots don't look very exciting on this. They look like little fishes. So I'm now up to the bit where I'm adding the cheese on and I'm just going to literally crop every clip where the cheese lands on the bread because you don't need all of the clips. And I feel like when you then play it through, it runs quite smoothly. Um, and I do that a lot with my packing videos. I literally just crop the bit where whatever it is I'm packing, it's the packing cube. 
Okay, so the video is now edited. I'm happy with it. I just tried to chop a little bit more down just so there was more sound in the video and there wasn't loads of like just dead sound. And then I've done a slightly different editing technique that I never usually do, but I wanted to try and see how it worked. Basically, a lot of the food videos do them and you start the video with the end clip of the video. So then when the person is watching, the video just automatically replays and you kind of don't really notice. So supposedly it helps with views. So I'm gonna try that, see how it works. Um, but yeah, when I go to export, I don't do anything with the sound. I just I just will literally export it in 4K, um, just so the quality is better. But I don't change the sound um, because I do really feel like the sound is in the editing. So like when I then went back and re-edited, I just wanted to focus the video on the sound rather than what was going on. So there was a few clips where I like then shortened it just so you could emphasize the sound a bit more. Um, I hope that makes sense. I am uploading this reel that I've just done slash TikTok on Instagram and TikTok on Sunday. And then this video is going live the following Sunday. So it actually will be interesting because by the time this video is out, the video will already have gone live on my social media. So we'll get to see what the views are like. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful and you're going to implement more ASMR videos in your content. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. And please like, comment and subscribe if you like this video. And also please let me know in the comments if there's any other videos you would like me to film.